The top stories for the hour. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed opens the Stride Ethiopia Expo 2024. And IGAD urges high-profile individuals to spirit regional problem-solving efforts. Hello and uh, very warm welcome to EBC Wallet, the voice of Pan-Africanism from the capital Addis Ababa with the news and Binyam Getana along with the technical crew to stay tuned. Here now the news in brief. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed launched the uh, Stride Ethiopia Expo 2024 at ICT Park on Saturday. The launch of the Stride Ethiopia Expo marks a significant and hopeful beginning for our ICT sector, a promise that was clearly evident during my recent visit to the ICT Park, he noted. Abiy underscored the promising start for Ethiopia's ICT sector and its commitment to innovation, citing examples of modernizing agriculture and establishing world-class data centers for smart cities. Stressing the significance of leveraging technology for development, he announced plans to train 5 million technology and computer programmers, as well as students with talents in mathematics and science. Minister of Innovation and Technology Balet uh, Mola, meanwhile, held Stride Ethiopia as a significant step towards the country's science, technology and innovation goals. The expo, organized under the theme Science Unlocks Technology Connects Innovation Drives, aims to foster collaboration and innovation among various stakeholders and will be open to the public at the Science Museum from May 19 to 26, 2024. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia has announced the commencement for construction of the Ethiopian Embassy in Dodoma, Tanzania, marking a significant milestone in bilateral relations between the two nations. The foundation stone was ceremoniously laid by Ethiopia's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Burtukan Ayano, in the presence of Tanzanian parliamentarians and other dignitaries. During her visit to Tanzanian capital, Burtukan engaged in fruitful discussion with senior Tanzanian officials on a wide range of shared interests. This initiative underscores Ethiopia's proactive efforts to foster mutual benefit and cooperation among neighboring African nations. Likewise, the laying of the embassy's corner stone reflects Ethiopia's commitment to strengthen diplomatic ties and promoting collaboration with Tanzania, reinforcing the bonds of friendship and solidarity between the two countries. Once again from beautiful sunshiny Mozambique just woke up a couple hours ago and we're heading over to Bazaruto Island today one of the most spectacular islands on skies perfect palm trees perfect water wise perfect but the wind damn Silence fades into the night Coyotes sing at the moonlight These open highways are calling our name 
Now through the grass. No shoes on. Look at this. It looks like you're going from pure desert to an oasis of palms. Date palms, that is. Once again, you're watching ABC World, and as the news continues, Makarov Igor, head of the School of World Economy at HSE University, Russia said uh, developing collective strategies uh, to address uh, climate change is a top priority for BRICS countries. Climate change has become a key area of cooperation among BRICS members, including renewable energy, carbon emission reduction, and adaptation strategies. BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, recognize the urgent need for collective action to mitigate climate change impact in transition to sustainable development. As major economies and significant greenhouse gas emitters, their cooperation is vital for global climate efforts. Each BRICS nation brings unique challenges, resources, and opportunities requiring tailored strategies while fostering collaboration. Russia prioritized climate change within BRICS, emphasizing intense cooperation as member countries are responsible for about half of global emissions. Likewise, Makarov highlighted the need for BRICS-specific mechanisms to reduce carbon emissions. He proposed forming a compact group of ministers and responsible agencies to create a common framework for climate change mitigation and adaptation. He stressed that BRICS strategies should differ from those of developed countries considering their diverse national circumstances. BRICS nations link climate change with sustainable development, integrating decarbonization with energy transformation, according to Ethiopian news agency. And finally, IGAR Executive Secretary Yorkana Gabayo underscored the crucial role of em eminent persons in supporting IGAR's efforts to address the multifaceted regional challenges. At the induction meeting in Addis Ababa, renowned personalities from member states were tasked with advising on key areas like peace development, trade, and climate change, leveraging their extensive experiences and influence across sectors. Work and I urged them to advocate for those affected by conflicts and assured them of full support from IGAR leaders. Ethiopian Minister of Justice Gideon Timotheos lauded the initiative, underscoring its significance in a region marked by conflict and discord. He stressed the vital role of elders and eminent personalities as custodians of communal wisdom. Gideon likewise reiterated Ethiopia's unwavering support for the Council's initiatives and efforts. Moreover, members of the IGAD Council of Eminent Persons affirmed their commitment to collaborating closely with IGAD and national actors. They pledged to explore common and alternative African solutions to complex regional problems within the framework of rich African traditions and values. Once again, a reminder of the top stories. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed opens to stride Ethiopia Expo 2024. IGAD urges high-profile individuals to spirit regional problem-solving efforts. You've been watching ABC World from the capital Addis Ababa. The voice of Pan Africanism with Bibi Niam Getana, along with the technical crew from here. Do stay tuned with the remaining ABC program. And goodbye from me, and enjoy the rest of the program.